When you get the Order of Canada, is your life appreciably different? What have you noticed? Could you get special discounts or what happens? I, uh, I get a lot more respect now. <laughs> but I'm a member of the Order of Canada. By other members? <laughs> uh, no, just, just, just from everybody. I think I'm now a lord. Ooh. <laughs> lord yes. Levy, I think. That's pretty good. Uh, no, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It was, uh, you know, it, it, was a, it was a great day. It, uh, I've never been prouder uh, to be me. <laughs> uh, and uh, no, I've never, I've, I really, I was, I was very, very proud to be a Canadian that day. That, that, was, that was a pretty unbelievable day, getting the Order of Canada. When you're standing there, what are you thinking about? What's going through your mind? Well, I, you know, as I said to the Governor General when he was putting the metal around my neck. I said, I feel more like the court jester than a, than a, than a you know, a part of the royalty in the room. Right. Um, you know, because everybody there is just, you know, they have, uh, uh, their accomplishments are just, you know, amazing. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like a character guy, you know? So I, uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, what am I doing here? You know, really. But it, it was, it was a pretty amazing night. I'll tell you what the most amazing thing about that day was. <laughs> At the black tie dinner yeah. after the event, uh, and I'm sitting beside the governor general's wife, and he's at the next table, and uh, just as they're about to serve the entree for the dinner, I feel a kidney stone coming on. <laughs> and it's not, and I've had them before, and I know it's like, you know, so I, you know, and cut to, I now have the governor general and his wife running around Rideau Hall looking for painkillers. That's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> you got them to be your drug dealer. Well, they, they, couldn't have been, they couldn't have been sweeter and they couldn't have been more helpful. And, uh, and, and the night ended okay. It was, uh, you know, but, but, you know, I said, well, this, this, this can't happen a lot here. And they right. said, no, first time. So. Well, how, do, you, do you wrestle with the decision to tell them what it is? Do you lie about no, it No, you know what it was. I was sitting there and I'm thinking, okay, this, I've had them before. And it's like, you know, now I've got to, at what point do I tell uh, the governor general's wife that this is what's going on? Because at a certain point, if it comes on really strong, you know, you're going to be carried out. You, you won't be able to walk out of the room. So right. I, I, I said, I, I'm thinking, okay, now it's getting bad, but it wasn't getting worse. So I made it through the whole dinner, didn't eat a thing. That was the sad part. It was a good-looking dinner, okay. too. Uh, and I told her after the dinner. And then she was, you know, she was very fine. She said, oh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll find something. I said, I may need some prescription drugs tonight in Ottawa, and it's late. Do you guys have any pull in this town? <laughs> Uh, they called Stephen Harper. He's like, we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, were, they, they just couldn't have been more, more helpful. And, and it was a great day. 